You got him? Yep. Real slow though, okay? Is he a good fish? Yep. Okay, keep your pole up, remember. What's he what's he look like? Is he coming to the surface yet? Oh. Oh <laughs> is he a big fish? He about ripped it out of your hands, huh? Hang on tight. Just remember oh, it, you're fine. Keep your pull up. Keep your pull up. Keep your pull up. Oh my goodness, buddy. Oh my goodness. It's a big fish. Okay, hold on, L Elijah. No, here, here, let dad get it, please. Please get it. I know, I know, I know. Get it. Oh, my first fish. Yeah, hold on. Don't keep just keep your pull there, son. Son. Keep your pull there. Okay. Bring it over here. Keep it here. There oh, we go. That's, the that's a big fish, Elijah. What um, do you think? Whoa. Here, let's see if we can see if we can get. Oh my goodness, Elijah, that's a good fish. Yeah. Look at that fish, Elijah. Wait, how do you do it? Look at it, Elijah. You want to hold him? Yep. That's a hole right here. Get your, hand, get your finger in his mouth, remember? In his mouth, son. Okay, okay hold his lip. Can you hold his lip? Uh, okay, no, there you go. <laughs> this is my <laughs> biggest. If, uh, this is, subscribe and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And hit the button that comes on all our videos. Is Goodbye. this your is this your first fish? Yep. The my second fish didn't come. Well, the really wild show. Okay, we good? Yep. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody watching. Goodbye. Are we gonna cook and clean this? Yep, clean it and this. You you get match. Do you want to start the really wild show? Then click your will set you the real our numbers the real, our favorite colors. You don't know. Do you want to know? Click on watch all our videos and you know. All right. So on the small mouth, what we're gonna do is just basically just cut right up underneath those scales. We don't want to get up around that head down to the backbone because we want as much, much of that meat around that head as possible. And you're going to basically go down to the backbone and then you're just going to follow that backbone all the way back. So kind of let that backbone just simply just be your guide. Okay, and then I get to here and I just push through and go right, right up against that backbone. Keep it flat up against that backbone to the tail. Some people can leave a little, some people leave a little skin on that. And then when you flip the flay over, you can just go, but I just, I grab with my fingernails, okay? So then what you're gonna wanna do, I don't know if you guys can see this, um, try to stay out of your view, but you're just gonna, again, just follow that backbone until you hit the rib cage. And you're going to want to kind of go right above that rib cage. Okay. Just follow right along that rib cage. Then you're going to eventually get to the pin bones. Just cut straight through the pin bones. All the way down to the belly. Okay. Quite a bit of belly meat on them. And there's that. So we do have a layer of pin bones right here, which we'll remove here in a minute. Okay, but I just grab that little piece of skin with my fingernail, cut down to the skin, and then just let the knife do the work. Just slide. Okay, just like that. So then, as you can see, we got all the meat from there and then there'll just be a looks like we actually didn't get the pin bones a little bit there so you'll just go like that you'll feel the pin bones just simply cut them out just like that and that is your fillet right there okay as you can see I mean we didn't leave any meat we got all the meat there's there's no meat there that's all ribs then we'll just flip it over and we'll do it to the other side. Okay, so now that we got the one side off, I'll go ahead and clean it up. I'll do the other side, uh, clean up both fillets. And then what we're gonna do is just kind of a Parmesan crusted um, seasoning batter to it. 
So I'll basically take some flour, a little bit of cornstarch, some Everglades seasoning, um, and then some of the powdered version of Parmesan cheese. Mix it all together, shake the fillets up, and then put them in some hot olive oil. Cook both sides. On the last side, I'll put fresh grated Parmesan cheese over top of that, okay? Set that aside. I'll cook some rice, and then I'll take some spinach leaves, cook that in the pan uh, with, the you know, with the flavor and the seasoning, kind of let them come together and fall in love. We'll take that uh, mixture of the spinach, we'll put that on top of the rice, and we'll put the filet with the fresh grated melted uh, Parmesan cheese on top of that. It'll make a phenomenal meal. So anyways, I'm gonna hurry and get the other side cleaned out real quick, and we'll get them washed off. Um, yeah, bud, come here, come here, come here. I know we are gonna eat it, but look, we're showing we're showing everybody on YouTube how we cook it, so the way you like it. Mm. So anyway, okay, we'll get that started. Okay, so I got the fish all cleaned. Um, I have flour in here. I just want to take a tiny bit of cornstarch, get that in there. That cornstarch helps keep it uh, nice and fluffy. And then I take the seasoning, Everglades, and I put just you know whatever you like for your taste, right? And then the magical ingredient where this uh, all comes together and is Parmesan cheese, okay? And just shake it up really, really good. Get it all mixed together, okay? And I'm gonna take our, our clean filet. And I've got it soaking in water so that way it adheres well. You want it still, you know, you don't want it dripping wet, but you want it wet enough that everything comes together. So shake it, make sure it gets evenly coated over the whole thing. And like I said, you want every nook and cranny of that fish to be coated, okay? Okay. Now normally, um, I like to let them sit on a plate as, as I've already got one that's been prepared, okay? So I'm gonna set this one down and let it sit. It just, it does better as it has time to soak up some of those juices and whatnot. So you want the pan about 350 degrees and just set that in there like that, okay? And you'll want probably right around three to, and this is olive oil, by the way. You can do whatever oil, oil you like. That's just what we choose. Um, but you probably want it right around three to five minutes each side, okay? Once, I like it just to be golden crispy. So I, I go more on looks than I do um, time-wise, but you also don't want to overdo the fish, okay? So we'll go three to five minutes, make sure it's brown on the one side, flip it over, and then we'll go ahead and put uh, Parmesan cheese. So while, uh, while we're waiting for this, I'm gonna get the rice prepared and we'll be back when we're getting ready to flip it, okay? Okay, so I'm a little lazy on the rice. I like to be able to pop it in for about 90 seconds and have a, a nice, quick, easy rice. I do like, um, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but uh, basmati rice. Uh, this one is uh, seasoned with cloves and I personally prefer like the lime and cilantro for this recipe, but this will have to do. So um, if you don't know how to already do this, then uh, <laughs> just get each side just a little bit. Um, put it in the microwave for about 90 seconds pull it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and we'll be back to flip this. All right, so it's getting golden brown. So I just basically just flip it over like that. Okay. It could probably honestly get a little bit more golden brown than that, um, but that will do. And then I take just some fresh shredded Parmesan cheese. I just combine all those awesome flavors together. And then we'll go ahead and let this cook for, you know, three to five minutes until that side's done. When that side's done, cheese will hopefully be melted. We'll get the better rice going and we'll throw the spinach on. So I'll show you when I pull this off, we get the spinach in. Okay, so it is done. Oh, it's done perfect. Want to fall apart. Just stick it on, napkin real quick, just to get um, drain off that a little bit. As you can see, we still have some of the seasoning, some of the uh, Parmesan cheese, okay? So then you want to be careful on this part. 
because this stuff does like to pop. So basically take some spinach. And unfortunately our garden is not having spinach ready yet. In fact, we uh, had a freeze, a hard freeze last night. Yeah, last two nights. So we had to frantically go cover our whole garden um, with straw. Um, I do like collard greens in place of spinach or um, with chard, but the spinach works out wonderfully still. Um, just add just a little bit of salt. See here. I do like to add a little bit of garlic to it. And then just cook it to however you like your spinach. I like it pretty wilted. But, uh, yeah, just get it in there. So, okay, while that's doing that, we'll go ahead and see, I broke out the fancy stuff, this go. But just put our uh, nice, long cooked, hard earned rice that took so long to make. <laughs> All 90 seconds of it. Just break apart like that. that right so all those, all those flavors have just combined nicely. Drain the spinach off. You don't want a big pile of grease. I'll go ahead and provide a link in the description for this fancy china. Beautiful. Okay, take our fish. And uh, the fish should be falling apart. I mean, it should just be just perfect. Okay. It is done, Lija. Do you want a bite? Yeah. Okay, let me grab a. Grab a fork real quick. All right, buddy. Okay, it's hot. Okay. Oh, you got your plate and everything. He just had lasagna. Only the fish. Only the fish. Okay, it's hot though. Want to try it? Yeah, but I want. I want a whole one. I know. We'll get you a whole one, but let's try it just for the camera real quick, okay? Oh, is it hot? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently it's too hot for him to try. Um, I'll go ahead and try some real quick here. I don't try it. Or try one. Perfect. So, anyway, please like, subscribe. Let us know what your favorite way is to cook small mouth. And we'll see you next time.